Now, students head back to retrieve their things. Questions remain about everything that happened on Wednesday, especially after the accused shooter's mother said she reached out to the school that morning. 11 Live's Grace King at Appalachian High School for us tonight, digging into that timeline of what happened that morning. Grace? Well, neither the sheriff's office nor the school district will answer our questions about whether that mom called the school that morning and warned them that something might happen. So we interviewed parents, family members and students to piece together what went down. According to text messages, Colt Gray's family shared with The Washington Post, the mother Marcy Gray says she notified an Appalachian High School counselor at 950 the morning of the shooting. She told them it was an extreme emergency and for them to go immediately and find her son. Around 10, the assistant principal came to the room looking for the shooter, um, but had the wrong name and took another child's backpack and left. Rebecca Sarath spoke with 11 Alive by phone. Her daughter Lila shared a math class with Cole Gray and another student with a very similar name. She explained to her mom what happened next. Short time later, that child comes back in with his backpack um, and she asked him like, what happened? Why did they take your backpack? And he's like, I don't know, they have the wrong person. At that point, Rebecca says it was too late. Her daughter told her Colt was allegedly standing outside the classroom door. The girl gets up to go open the door and sees him um, pulling a gun out of his bag and just starts to back up. And um, after that, he turns and starts shooting. Again, we haven't independently confirmed whether the mom actually made that call that morning. As for Lila, her mom tells me they're spending the week by the beach because everything here and in the surrounding community is just too painful of a reminder of what happened. Live in Winder, Grace King, 11 Alive News.